How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech and today I'm going to show you how to transfer your photos and videos from your iPhone to your Mac. This is the official and easiest way to do it and of course it's universal. So it'll work for any iPhone model and any Mac model as well. On top of that, it's completely free. You don't even need to download anything because it's a native process and also it's updated. And by the way, if you want to learn how to do this, but you have a Windows PC, it's a slightly different process. So I'll direct you to this other video. You can tap on this card or link in the description. So you'll learn how to do this exact same thing. But if you have a Windows PC, okay, so it all starts here on the iPhone. So go ahead and open up your settings. And then at the top bar right here on the first page of your settings, tap on it and then go to photos. So search for it, it's just easier that way. So tap on photos, as you can see, and then scroll quite a bit down until you get here to the bottom where you see transfer to Mac or PC. And this is important because here we can choose how those files will be transferred in which exact format. So if we go ahead and select automatic, what this will do is this will transfer the photos and videos, no problem, but it will automatically convert some of those photos and videos to a more compatible format. So for example, photos will be converted from HEIC, which is a standard format for iPhone photos to JPEG. So then they will be converted, right? And keep originals as the name suggests, won't convert anything. So the files, the photos and the videos will be transferred to your Mac the exact same way they were taken and generated on your iPhone. So if you are more of a pro user or you know what you're doing, you know, my recommendation is to use keep originals because naturally you're gonna have the exact same files that are compressed or converted or anything like that so you can play with them much better but if not I suggest that you use automatic simply because you won't have a hard time at all those will be super compatible files all right so it's up to you I'm gonna choose keep originals all right so now all you have to do is simply go ahead and get your cable yes we will need a cable for this process it's just much much better Better, faster and easier and naturally you're gonna plug one end to your Mac I'm using a USB-C to USB-C but of course you use the compatible cable for your devices it may be lightning it may be USB-A okay no problem so get your iPhone and plug in the other end just like that plug it in make sure it's charging as you can see and trust this computer this is necessary right so trust and then type in your lock screen passcode so type it in and then you're good to go make sure you're still charging just to make sure it's still connected and then you don't need your iphone anymore you can leave it like that on the desk just like that and we can move on if for some reason you get a pop-up notification like i'm getting here saying an update is required uh, it's up to you you can go ahead and install it or not of course i'm not gonna do it right now because it's not the purpose of this video all right so let's go ahead and move on and the app the software that we're gonna use to transfer the photos and videos is actually called image capture we're not gonna use the photos app and you're gonna understand why in a second it's just so much better so in order to to find it it's super easy you have it on your Mac I can guarantee you that because it's a native software so all you have to do is press command on your keyboard and then the space bar command space and then you bring up the spotlight search if you didn't know this spotlight search is so cool because you can search absolutely anything any file on your Mac and this is a very nice shortcut just like you have spotlight search on your iPhone where you pull down and right here you have your search where you can search for anything that on its own already deserves a like doesn't it so go ahead and hit that like button all right now all you have to do is look for image capture as you can see right here image capture you can already hit return and then it's gonna open up generally it opens up in a small tiny teeny tiny window you can resize it just to make it look better and then as you can see devices uh, uh, Daniel's iPhone 15 Pro Max that's it it's already gonna open up all your items what it's calling items are everything so all your photos and videos and I do love image capture because it's super super simple it's not completely cluttered and full of 
tabs and menus and sub menus like the photos app so that's why I think that's the best way to do it all right so as you can see right here you have a list of all your files so all your photos and videos you can see here MOV so that's a movie so naturally that's a video JPG as you can see it's an image and HEIC as I said which is an image as well and you've got all the information so the file name the kind so the type right the date file size width and height so of course the dimensions you have here location even the aperture of the camera and every single information that you need even shutter speed as you can see and of course the maker Apple and even the model so as you can see iPhone 15 Pro Max and I've got even here a few files from my Ray-Ban Meta uh, sunglasses so this is so cool and now it's just a matter of transferring of downloading as the app actually calls but before I move on I have to tell you something very very important for many many people the number of items right here right below image capture as you can see on mine is 3855 is way lower than the actual number that they can see here on the iPhone meaning that image capture can only find can only see a few of their photos and videos just like my case so if I tap here on photos and I pull down as you can see I have 35,328 items so over 35,000 photos and videos which is pretty much 10% of everything that I have this is 10% of my total uh, photos and videos and the reason for this is because most of my photos and videos are actually in iCloud they're actually in the cloud and image capture can only find the photos and videos that are in the iPhone internal storage it can only access those photos and videos and unfortunately that's the way Apple decides to deal with those photos and videos some of them are in the iPhone some of them are in iCloud but don't worry because in the end of the video I'm gonna explain you how you can get those photos and videos that are in the cloud okay let's move on let me show you how you can download those photos and videos first and then we're gonna move on okay so in order to get to transfer those photos and videos it's super easy you can click on the file that you want and then simply go ahead here and click on download naturally before that you're gonna want to choose where you want to import in my case I put desktop for you you can put anywhere if you want to select multiple files you can use the shift key right here on the keyboard so press shift and then click on it and then you select the whole thing scroll down and, and, and you know the drill it's your typical file selection if you don't want to choose actually select files in a row you can actually use the command key so if you press command instead of shift as you click on an icon as you click on a file it's just gonna pick that individually so you can go ahead and choose individually what you want while pressing the command key on the keyboard okay so it's up to you now let's go ahead and show you how it actually works so I'm gonna click on this file scroll quite a bit down and click with the shift key click here so I've selected all of those and then I can go ahead and click on download naturally if you want to get everything all the 3,000 files in my case you just click download now and it's gonna download the whole thing okay but I'm not gonna do it so just download as you can see and then it's gonna import which just takes a few seconds this is super fast because it's using the cable right you get here the checks saying that everything is done let me just move image capture out of the way and as you can see they're here in my desktop so then I've got here photos videos absolutely everything in perfect full quality uncompressed because in my case I chose that option in the settings remember in the beginning of the video so then I got perfect images here absolutely stunning as if I transferred via airdrop for example now if you are like me and you have just a few of your photos and videos in your iPhone naturally using image capture you only be able to download a few of those photos and videos because the rest is in iCloud then I'm gonna redirect you to another video of mine take a look at this card right here link in the description where I'm gonna show you how you can actually download your photos and videos that are in the cloud they are in iCloud it's an even easier process than this it's super super simple you don't need to plug anything you don't need cables or anything like that so my recommendation is you go ahead and you download first everything that's on your iPhone with this method and then if you have photos and videos in iCloud you go to this other video as I said link in the description and then you're gonna download straight from the cloud what's there 
as I said, it's not on me. That's how Apple decided to actually deal with photos and videos on the iPhone. So two different methods, but with this, I guarantee you'll be able to download everything that you want. Okay, so that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye-bye.